Hello everyone, welcome to Ansible series of Cloudyethi. In today's lesson, we are going to cover how to use Ansible with Systems Manager. Hi, my name is Robin Gautam. I'm AWS certified cloud and DevOps engineer. We'll start with some basics of Systems Manager and head over to AWS Management Console for demonstration. Follow along with me till the end of the video so that we'll learn how to use Ansible with Systems Manager. So let's get started. Systems Manager manages resources inside an AWS account that is EC2 instance either running Windows or Linux as well as on-prem servers or virtual machines. If the resource is EC2 instance we need to assign IAM permissions or we need activation code if resource is not easy to instance. The modern AMIs have SSM agent pre-configured or else we need to install SSM agent. So when you navigate over to this URL which I'll be linking in the description below you can see the major components of Systems Manager. There are a number of features in Systems Manager that kind of overlap. For example, we got a concept of SSM documents which are used by run command, which are also used by state manager, and which are also used by patch manager. So let's get started with how to use Ansible with Systems Manager. So here I'm in my AWS Management Console in my EC2 dashboard. You can see I have one instance running. Note that I have already installed Ansible using this script, which I'll be linking in the description below. So note that we need IAM permissions for SSM. So in IAM dashboard, you can see I have created my custom role called SSM EC2 role and inside this role, I have attached a policy called Amazon EC2 role for SSM. And I have attached that role to this particular instance by going to instance setting and attach and replace IAM role. Note that on security groups, I have port 22 and port 80 open. So when you navigate over to Systems Manager, scroll down over here and let's click on Managed Instance. Since we already have SSM agent pre-configured in our instance and we have attached a role for it, we are able to see on Managed Instance our EC2 instance, you can see our status is online over here. So now let's go to our state manager. Note that state manager is a desired state engine. You can define the desired state in the form of systems manager document. A document can be a command document or a policy document. So now let's click on the state manager service. and let's create an association. Let me provide a name called Ansible SSM Association. Over here, you can click on document name prefix equals AWS dash run. So we are provided with various options over here. So to run Ansible playbook, we are going to use the document with AWS run Ansible playbook. But before this, let me also quickly show you if you wanted to run Ansible playbook from GitHub or Yes3, you have a different option to select it from called AWS run remote script. 
But for this lab, let's just select AWS Run Ansible Playbook. So on the Playbook section, let me go to my GitHub repository. So let me copy the playbook that installs and configures sdtvd server and let me paste that thing over here and on the check option for dry run we are going to set it to false and over here on the targets you can see we can also choose an instance using the tags as well as we can also choose the instances manually. So since I only have one instance, I can directly choose over here. So you can also run a document on a certain schedule. So this is one of the difference that I see between the state manager and run command. In run command, there is only one time run command execution. But in state manager, you can run a document on a schedule. But for now, we are going to select no schedule. On the advanced option, we can choose the severity that reflects on the compliance dashboard. For now, let me select it medium. So on the rate control, you have concurrency option over here. That specifies the number or percentage of targets on which to execute the tasks at the same time. So on the error threshold, which specifies stop the task after the task fails on the specified number or percentage of targets, we can choose 1. Note that you can also choose rate control on this percentage basis. So this is another one of the cool feature of Systems Manager. You can also send the output to ES3. So if we select ES3, you need to specify which bucket you want to send the output to. For now, let's uncheck this and create association. So when I refresh the page, So you can see the status is success over here. So if I navigate to my EC2 dashboard and copy my public IP and paste it on the browser, you can see I have cloud tutorial for Ansible with Systems Manager. Systems Manager is a very powerful tool which has various components. So this is how we can use Ansible with Systems Manager. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.